Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be finishing season 10 of The Big Bang Theory. And I got to say, I'm excited and not excited at the same time for this because we've been on this journey since August of last year. And it's probably going to take us until August of this year, hopefully, that we are done with the show. Um, I almost don't want it to end. It's almost like I want this to continue. But we do have young Sheldon coming after this. And I heard that they're doing a spinoff series um, with HBO Max. So that's not going to come for a while. But when that does, you know, we're going to be right back here doing the same thing, watching the same people, hopefully. So hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch a full length reaction, go ahead and check from the link down in the description of this video for my Patreon, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue the Big Bang Theory. What the heck? Sheldon, why are you jumping up and down? I'm trying to shoot. Then use the shoot button, not the wonderful thing about Tigger's button. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're dead. Challenge them again. Doing it right now. I used to excel at these things. Oh, kids are always better at video games. Well, I don't like it. If it makes you feel better, you still dress like a child. <laughs> no, it's not just video games. I downloaded the new OS for my phone. It took me a week to stop accidentally texting kissy faces to everyone. I guess I just need to face it. I'm no longer a wonderkin. Now I just wonder what's for lunch. Hot dogs. Yay. I didn't know you could drink while you're breastfeeding. Yeah, they say the yeast in beer helps with milk production. I'm pretty sure that's a myth. Let me check. Ruin it for me and I'll break this glass over your head. Yeah, please don't do that. To denial. Woo! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get another. You want food? Yeah, breastfeeding burns like 5,000 calories a day. Do not touch that phone. Benny? Oh, oh God, Zach! Zach. Hey. What are the odds of running into you here? Well, it's a bar, so pretty good. <laughs> uh, what's new? Oh, tons of stuff. <laughs> Put artificial grass in my backyard, got engaged, had a scary mold, it turned out to be Sharpie. Well, congratulations. That's what my dermatologist said. No, 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 the engagement, no, dude. I'm getting engaged. Good for you. Oh, thanks. Hey, we should all have dinner sometime. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll check with Leonard. Cool. I'll check with Sarah. Sarah, pull up my calendar. That's Siri. It never works for me. Because it's not her name. We love you, Zach. We really do. I've been do. thinking about <laughs> our recent humiliation. I started doing some reading on cognitive vitality, and I came across an area of research called super aging. You know who's a super ager? Jennifer Lopez. Like, what is the secret? <laughs> Botox. This is rare. I don't know which one of you I want to stop talking first. <laughs> The theory is that if you really tax your brain, the neurofibers will become thicker and the glial cells more lustrous. Like Jello's head. You really want to challenge yourself, you could learn to speak Hindi. Jab me up, Salkata, Manaye Sikata. There you go. Did you see that in English? I actually, I never learned Hindi. What the hell? <laughs> Honestly, it's a little strange having dinner with your ex-boyfriend and it's not like we have a lot to talk about. He loves you, okay? And he's interested in your work. You could talk about the infinite perspective. Wow. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's just go. Well, and his fiance will be there. So, you know, if the conversation lags, we can talk about their wedding. Hey, hey, hey where's your fiance? Oh, she couldn't make it. She had an emergency. Oh, no. What happened? Didn't ask. <laughs> you probably should have. What well, smells so good? Raj is teaching me to make croissants. Is this part of your super aging? Yes. Yeah, it seemed daunting at first, but then I realized it's like the chemistry set I had as a kid. The only when your brother eats this, no one has to call poison control. <laughs> okay, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's light, it's flaky, it's buttery. You don't need to have sex with him, just eat one of these. Well, clearly mental tasks are not enough. Maybe you need to challenge your motor skills. For the last time, I am not having a tickle fight with you. <laughs> what the what heck? A real challenge. Who Try wants that? Me from eating more of these. Working on a top secret government project. That is so cool. Oh. Do you have a bodyguard to keep spies away? That would be cool. I have Sheldon that keeps most people away. <laughs> I miss that guy. He's like the Swedish chef Muppet. I don't know what he's saying, but he's funny. So Penny, what's going on with you? That was the job. 
Uh, it's okay. I'm still in pharmaceutical sales. And... Well, doing amazing. She can actually make a side effect, like 10% chance of liver failure. So I'm like a 90% chance of liver success. <laughs> hey, if you're not happy there, I've been looking for a new head of sales at my company. And we don't sell drugs, just menus. So the only lie you'll be telling is we print on recycled paper. That doesn't sound bad, actually. <laughs> I can't do this without me and you. That's probably the cleverest thing I've ever heard yeah, right? him say. Funny. I got a lot of menu jokes, but that's my favorite. <laughs> How about oh, I teach you some close-up magic? Oh God, we're gonna do Howard, this again. I'm trying to make myself uncomfortable, not everyone else. <laughs> so you wanted to learn something physical, and you came to Howard Wallowing? <laughs> Yeah, that's a hey, good question, actually. The circus arts are very physically and mentally demanding. The key is, the moment one ball is at the top of its arc, you toss the next one. Okay, I think I got that. Well, hold on. <laughs> There's uh, an old saying in juggling. Is it, I'm going to die alone? <laughs> Bernadette no, can't just be happy you for him. Want to have fun, just to be on the safe side, am I in any danger of getting juggler's elbow? That's not a no. thing. Are you sure? Because I'm feeling a twinge. See, that wasn't so bad. He even picked up the check. Yeah. Although, when he was trying to figure out the tip, I'm pretty sure I saw smoke coming out of his ears. <laughs> I have sales experience, and I've been a waitress, so I have restaurant experience. And if he's figuring out my Christmas bonus, we could buy a boat. Don't you think it might be a little weird to work for someone you used to date? You work with Sheldon, you tell me. You got a point there, actually. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Great. So you want me to stay at a job I'm not happy at? Uh, no, but okay? I get why Leonard's a worry. Zach trying to figure out that tip. <laughs> of course, I don't want you to be unhappy, but I also want you to be smart. And working for an ex-boyfriend isn't very smart. I mean, I think maybe I would be more worried about Zach making a move versus Penny making a move. But I'm also worried that Zach would succeed. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. Howard said I could borrow it. Bernadette said forever. <laughs> Have you tried letting go of the rope? What, are you crazy? I'm on a unicycle. <laughs> All right, well, have fun. Yeah, wait, I need help getting down. Well, what do you want me to do? But before you do any of that, scratch my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you told her she was being dumb? No. I told her she was being not smart. I can't believe Leonard would be so insecure. Really? I have no trouble believing that at all. <laughs> and Zach's engaged. Leonard has no reason to feel threatened. You're talking about the same Leonard, right? Yeah, but she also used to sleep with Zach. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let Howard work with an ex. What, you wouldn't trust him? I wouldn't trust her. Stinks. Exactly. Sexy like a Jewish greyhound. Okay. Yeah, that, that is the sexiest dog. <laughs> so you think it's okay? Oh no, she's gonna leave you for someone. Might as well get it over with. Bro, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm returning this stuff to Howard. Oh. Well, Bernadette made me promise if you didn't want it, we'd give it to a homeless clown. There's probably a lot of those. What happened to learning the unicycle? Sheldon, is it possible that when things get really difficult, you just give up? Yeah. Are you calling me a quitter? Yes. Well, if you honestly... This conversation is over. <laughs> His mother warned me. Everybody warned me. <laughs> Actually, he warned me. Look, we can have a reasonable conversation and I won't get mad. <laughs> I don't like it after sex and I don't like it now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. All right, just come here. Look, I get me working with Zach is weird and I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Thanks, and I don't want you to be stuck at a job you don't like. Yeah, see, now I feel terrible, like I'm being selfish and holding you back. Well... 
You're not, but... What? Say something. <laughs> this article says the peak age for making a Nobel Prize winning discovery is 40. So? So I'm running out of time. That's ridiculous. You're How old are you? Man. The best years of your life are still ahead of you. Oh, you have to say that. You're sweet on me. <laughs> well, if you're really worried about your career, maybe you should consider spending a little less time with video games and comic books. Hey! Let's say you spend your life doing solid scientific research, surrounded by friends and loved ones who appreciate you. I feel like he's gonna get one by the end of the show, just because. Penny, what's up? Hey, uh, so I've been thinking about it, and I want to take the job. Oh, bad news. When my fiancé found out that I was offering a job to my ex-girlfriend, she said it was a stupid idea and threw a shoe at me. Oh, well. Oh, so there's no job? Nope. Just a little bump on my forehead. <laughs> okay, thanks anyway. You were right, I was wrong. <laughs> Leonard, he's thinking what to say the right way. Aren't you going to say anything? Not if I want to be doing this later. <laughs> Seriously, where were you? I just told you, your mom's. Why? Well, since you find my magic trick so embarrassing, I got to wondering what cool hobbies you had as a kid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What'd you say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this sounds like it's going to be bad. Oh my god, she was a ventriloquist. I heard it. Remember me? <laughs> it's not like I wanted to be a ventriloquist. I was in beauty pageants and I needed a talent besides spreading rumors that the other contestants were pregnant. <laughs> Well, That'll since work. you enjoyed getting rid of all my stuff, you know, maybe we should throw this little lady in the wood chipper. No! Sorry. You're not a dork. You're a clown. <laughs> Penny Joe, don't say that. Don't make him feel bad. Look at him. What reason he got to feel good. <laughs> you marry Miss Bernie, you marry me. <laughs> we all family now. That's creepy. Freaking me out. Don't be that way. If you don't mind a few splinters, we could have us a menage a trois. <laughs> I know that puppet didn't just do that. I know it didn't. Oh my god. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh man. Champagne, champagne, and for the world's tallest second grader, apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> no bendy straw, some party. Hey, a uh, uh, toast. Thank you all for your support while we worked on our Air Force project. And please know that we could not have done it without you. To success without Raj. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens next? Phase two. We test it, perfect it, and hope to live long enough to see the movie based on our lives starring more attractive versions of us. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely live long enough. Vitamin C. What First the heck? tomorrow morning, we're back at it. Without me. Leonard Hofstetter, access granted. I don't care if this thing's burning out my retinas. It makes me feel special. <laughs> uh, before we field test, I think we... Oh. Sir, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I just don't get it. Y you came into our lab in the middle of the night and took our prototype and all of our research and didn't even tell us? Sounds like you get it. <laughs> Why, though? Why would you do that? You guys completed phase one. We'll take it from here. Where did you move it? I can't tell you that. Are you implementing phase two? I can't tell you that. As you know, the primary focus of the United States military is people's feelings. <laughs> if that's sarcasm, please save it for our enemies. <laughs> uh, I may be moving out soon. I think I found a place to live. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Really? You kept sending me apartment listings. <laughs> Bert has a room for rent. So you're gonna be roommates with Bert? Uh, no, it's uh, pretty private, actually. It's over his garage. So the only time I'll see him is when he pulls his car in, does his laundry, or practices drums in my dining room. Well, good for you. Mm -hmm. I actually have a little news myself. Okay, we're just gonna circle back to when he's moving out. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I was uh, asked to be a visiting researcher at Princeton. Oh, come on, he's a grown man. He can take care of himself. No, he can't. You really believe that? No. <laughs>
Once again, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> How can you work on something for a year and they just take it? I can't believe the Air Force would treat us like that. Now, I have a good mind to stop paying my taxes. It's too bad I enjoy doing them so much. <laughs> he likes weird things. Whoa. Third floor, wrong apartment. <laughs> oh, okay. Although if anyone's gonna clean out your apartment and disappear, it'd be Penny. <laughs> he might disappear, but she's definitely not cleaning anything. That was definitely scary. <laughs> I was like, where are they gonna put him? <laughs> it's okay, everything's here. Amy's got some news. <laughs> yeah, um... Raj is moving out. <laughs> oh no, Wed. <laughs> I mean, an entire year wasted. You might be forgetting another accomplishment of the past year. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we brought life into the world. <laughs> really? That's the importance you put on us having a baby? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't go. Oh, stop it, he'll be fine. I guess. And he'll have you and Leonard right across the hall the whole time. Oh, damn, wait, you know, maybe you shouldn't go. Gotta go. <laughs> Morning. I apologize for exceeding my allotted bathroom time. I made your favorite oatmeal. Plain. <laughs> <laughs> What's the occasion? No occasion, I just wanted to do something nice for you. You're so kind. Now, I don't know how I ever got by without you. <laughs> That's sweet, but you, you did just fine on your own. To wake up every morning and know you're there is a great comfort to me. Mmm. Tasteless. <laughs> How do you do it? You know, what you need to do is put this Air Force project behind you and just dive into something new. I'm confused. You're always saying that you want to spend more time with me. That is true. I have said that. A lot. It's very annoying. <laughs> Has something changed? Um, is there something that you're not telling me? Yep. Princeton. A fine institution. The place where Albert Einstein taught. And where Leonard got his PhD, so it may have gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Well. That's wonderful, congratulations. I may have lost my guidance system and my girlfriend, but I still have a colon full of yesterday's meals to keep me company. <laughs> well, but thanks to your high fiber breakfast, I'm sure that'll be leaving me too. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. A little distance might be nice. The last time a big project ended for Howie, he wouldn't stop following me around. He even went with me to get a mammogram. Oh my god. That? No, he wanted to get one with me, like some kind of weird couple's massage. That's what and I thought she was gonna say. Child, Nito. <laughs> what if Sheldon. Okay, listen to me. Your relationship can handle being long distance for a while. It's not like you two are very physical. Hey, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, we a do. A lot of lectures. All right, so you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you don't go, you'll end up regretting it. Hey, wait up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you left something at home. It's too late for me. Save yourself. <laughs> Are you excited to have your own place again? I am. Don't tell me Sheldon's in there. He is. Why are you in here? What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm playing sad harmonica. And an apartment as empty as my heart. Amy's only gone for a few months. And now that I'm moving out, your old room is empty, so you can stay there whenever you want. Uh, Don't say I that. Bye. Your girlfriend was given an amazing opportunity, which gives you an opportunity to show her that you're a loving and supportive boyfriend. So trick her. No. <laughs> All right, let me start again. Uh, I missed you. <laughs> Is he okay? Let's talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Have I been a bad boy? Am I gonna get a spanking? Just you know? I don't know if 
you realize this, but whenever you're between projects, you tend to get a little insecure. But what did you do when you worked on that allergy drug for two years and the FDA shut down your project? <laughs> I signed us up for ballroom dance class. Yep. <laughs> okay, and what did you do when they took you off the antifungal team? Uh-oh. We made us have a baby. <laughs> that was big. <laughs> you going somewhere? No, but you are. So I got you this as a present. Sheldon, that isn't necessary. No, it is. Leonard pointed out to me that I'm not always a loving and supportive boyfriend. So here's some quality luggage. <laughs> hey, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> the salesman said it could survive a plane crash, so... Besides, Princeton is in New Jersey, so it's not like you're going to want to stay. <laughs> uh, I know it's not your birthday, but if you're interested... I am. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go to the bedroom, remove our clothes, fold them neatly, <laughs> and engage in frenzied lovemaking. <laughs> What if we don't fold our clothes at all? I, or, what if we fold them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was at a pretty low place in my life. Oh, Amy, you naughty vixen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> as I was saying, I was at a pretty low place in my life and uh, if it wasn't for friends like you... My goodness, that form of stimulation is highly efficient! <laughs> Should we give them their privacy? I want to, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Whoopee! Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I've been doing a little research on New Jersey, and I was delighted to learn that their chief agricultural product is saw. I'm surprised she's leaving now. This is not the last episode. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Perhaps I've been harder on them than they deserve. What if I become strange and eccentric? You already are. I love you no matter what. <laughs> Howard Hughes saved his urine and milk bottles. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, and one last thing. If you find yourself working with a male scientist who's as smart as me, as tall as me, and has hair like Thor, well then, I want you to step <laughs> away from the situation and call me immediately. <laughs> How are you settling in? Pretty well. Princeton has a beautiful campus. Now, I've learned some fun facts about New Jersey to help you make small talk. Uh, would you like to know the state bird or the murder rate? Oh, my God. They're both shocking. <laughs> I miss you, too. It's so strange. Earlier today, I ended a sentence with a preposition, and you weren't there to correct my grammar. I'm sorry you had to go through that. <laughs> In fact, that's when I started to really miss you. Are you going to teach me a lesson? <laughs> I'm going to admonish you. Oh my god. Vigorously? <laughs> That's the only kind of admonishing I do. <laughs> How's Sheldon doing with Amy gone? Well, the last three nights I've had to take him to get a haircut to the train store and to a Walgreens in Arcadia where they still have the good ibuprofen. What does that I'm even mean? How I'm doing with Amy gone. How are you doing Shut with... Shut up. <laughs> if you'd like, we can help you out. Great. Tonight he wants to look at ladders at Home Depot. No, why does he need a ladder? He doesn't. He just likes looking at them. Bring a book. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may remember Dr. Nowitzki. She's back at Caltech for her postdoc. Hello. Hi. What is oh, she? Who is she again? Oh, thanks. What just happened? <laughs> a stranger just lured Sheldon away with a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she the grad student that used to follow him around? Oh, yeah. That's Back who that is. He hit puberty and grew man parts. So tell me about your scalar dark energy experiment. Not till you tell me about your latest paper on quantum loop theory. Oh, you must be one of those dessert before dinner people. <laughs> he just made her laugh. Something's wrong. Do you see the way she's looking at him? Yeah. 
Yeah, this Bernadette is a problem. used to look at me. The simplest explanation is usually the right one. Which is? That ain't Sheldon. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. Together, Leonard said he made her laugh. Should we call Amy? I don't know. We shouldn't worry her if it's nothing. I guess we could wait till we have more information about this girl. <sighs> Do you think living with Amy has somehow stirred up Sheldon's sexual appetite? Oh, God. <laughs> Even I don't want to think about that. I googled her. She's pretty cute. Really? All I got from Leonard was the Toblerone bar had nuts. <laughs> Oh, and get this, I saw an articulating ladder with dual leg leveling, which delivers stability and adaptability to uneven terrain. Oh my god. Sounds like a big night. So you're keeping busy? You're not lonely? Oh, not at all. I've had outings with Leonard and Raj in the evening, and oh, I had lunch with Dr. Nowitzki. Who's he? Oh, no, Dr. Nowitzki is a woman. Uh, really? Uh, when did you meet her? Oh, God. Many years ago, back when she was a grad student. Uh, she's always been a huge fan of my work, and now she's doing research at Caltech. Yeah, that sounds huge wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, hey, Amy. I gave you one job. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. How hard is that? <laughs> we thought you meant not letting him run out into traffic. <laughs> Which he only did once. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? He didn't want you to worry. Should I worry? No, come on, it's Sheldon. Nothing is gonna happen. I've been smacking that ketchup bottle for a long time. All oh she's my got God. to do is tip it over and point it at her fries. <laughs> that is some what weird analogies there. I don't know. <laughs> Might be the New Jersey talking, but this Nowitzki broad needs to disappear. It's unbelievable. Sheldon has lunch with another woman, and somehow my wife yells at me. Yeah, why is it your fault? Uh, apparently, I'm overly fixated on premium Swiss chocolate bars. <laughs> Can you even eat those things? Mm, if I take a lactate a half hour before and some Pepto right after. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of work. I... I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's single. So if somebody else asks her out and she says yes, then we know she's not into Sheldon. I'll do it. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Stuart, but okay. Some doctors like me. Do they? Whenever I see mine, he calls in a bunch of other doctors. Have a look. <laughs> oh. She's not that kind of doctor. Oh, well, her loss. I've been called a genuine medical oddity. <laughs> That's probably not a good thing. You can talk to women now, Raj. Dr. <laughs> you can do this. Good to see you. Good to see you too. May I join you? No. Oh. Good to see you. <laughs> that was very abrupt. <laughs> Call Guinness. That might be a record. She's clearly having a working lunch and preferred to eat alone. I made a play for her and she shot me down. All right, well, that doesn't prove anything. Yeah, there's a million reasons a woman would shoot Raj down. <laughs> That's like so mean. A million? Fine, hundreds. Thank you. We just went swimming. <laughs> Amy's gonna come cool. back and catch them. I I'm already scared, calling it. But I told myself it's just a big bathtub. I just squeeze in here. <laughs> the face she makes. Amy? Yes, we Skype this morning, and I'm sure I'll check in with her before I go to sleep. Sheldon talks about her all the time. I can't wait to meet her. No, that is true. She keeps asking how long Amy's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's exactly why. Yourself. I've corresponded with Peter Higgs. Would you like to see some of his letters? Absolutely. I'll get them. Well, hang on. I'll come with you. Oh, fun. Like a play date. <laughs> Sheldon. <laughs> okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that exactly what we were supposed to stop from happening? <laughs> Here you go. Are these all from Peter Higgs? Oh, no, no, no. They're from many famous people. Oh, like this one. This is from Patrick Stewart. She's getting way too says, close to him. If I come to his house again, I get to meet his dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh oh. oh. Excuse me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I was missing you again. Yeah, you better fix that I miss face, you lady. Too. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Uh huh. 
Amy's gonna, Amy's gonna kill him. Hang on. Hello? Little late, Leonard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is Leonard doing calling you at this hour? It's not important. This is making me crazy. Somebody's gotta go over there. You got feet and legs, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go with me? You what, shake a can of nickels at them? We're being ridiculous. There's no way a woman that attractive is trying to seduce Sheldon Cooper. I hate to break up the party, but Amy says I'm tired and have to go to bed. <laughs> it was nice seeing everybody. Thank you for dinner. Sure. Pleasure. Whatever. <laughs> Raj. Walk me to my car? Of course. <laughs> oh, they're trying to protect him so badly because he doesn't understand it. Pardon, I just need to, yeah. Bye. We need to talk. What, is this about Leonard and Amy? I don't like it either. That's not what it was about at all. Okay, I know you don't have a lot of experience with women, but Ramona seems to have a romantic interest in you. That doesn't make any sense. She knows I have a girlfriend. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's try this. Think of yourself as one of those limited edition toys people like to collect. I already do. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you get it. <laughs> because there's only one of me, I'm more valuable. Right! All right, what do you think is happening? I think Dr. Nowitzki is a friendly colleague. Okay. I think you and Leonard need to see a marriage counselor. <laughs> and what does that I have to do? To update my resume to include swimming as a special skill. Here hey, she comes. Uh, Double breakfast, trouble. Yes, lunch no. I did have a cough drop, but that really rides the line between sucking and eating. <laughs> oh, perfect. I made a sandwich. How thoughtful. Thank you. Are you seeking a romantic relationship with me? What if I were? Well, that would raise a number of problems. We're colleagues. I'm currently in a relation. No! <laughs> yeah, no, this is a problem. Where's he going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh, it's SpongeBob! <laughs> I think me and Nick just watched that episode. Seriously, is he going all the way to see Amy? Amy. Amy. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, come on, it ends there. All right, so that was the season finale of The Big Bang Theory season 10. And I gotta say, that was a perfect way of ending that whole entire season. Like, <laughs> the fact that that was his perfect response was just to leave the entire state and then go propose, like, out of nowhere. That's great. And I already know she says yes. I just know it because there's no way that she wouldn't say yes. She just has to. But, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And if you'd like to see my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.